Welcome to Electro Online. On the previous video, we derived what we call the refracting equation, the equation that describes what happens to the ray when it crosses the first boundary, the front boundary. In this video, we're going to talk about the transfer equation, the equation that describes what happens when the ray travels from the front boundary to the back boundary. And it's traveling along this path right here. Notice that it's incident at a point y1 above the optical axis, and it will then reach a point on the other side of the lens, y2 distance above the optical axis. The distance between those two points is d, which is very close to the thickness of the lens. So I've taken this triangle right here and we've drawn it here to make it a little bit easier to see. Notice that this is the entry point y1, or I should say this is the distance y1 above the optical axis of the entry point, and then the point where it will go through the boundary on the back side of the lens, this is the distance y2 above the optical axis. And then we have the angle here, which is alpha t1, that's the transmitted angle of the ray as it crosses the boundary relative to the horizontal line here, which is parallel to the optical axis. Now this distance right here, this gain in height, is the difference between y2 minus y1. And we can set that equal to the sine of the angle right here. Now notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the sine of alpha t1 by definition is going to be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And of course the opposite side will be y2 minus y1, that is the height gain or the difference in height between those two points. It could actually be uh, lower than the first point, it doesn't matter. And then we divide that by the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is this distance right here. This would be h for the hypotenuse. But for very small angles, that is approximately equal to the distance between the two points. So, because we're dealing with small angles, we can say that's approximately equal to the difference in height divided by d. And of course, we know that the sine of alpha t1 is approximately equal to alpha, so we can say that alpha t1 is approximately equal to the sine of alpha t1, which means that we can write alpha t1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by d. Now what we, want, what we want to do is we want to write y2 in terms of y1, so we want to isolate that. We're going to multiply this across, so we have alpha t1 times d, I'll put d in front, and that equals y2 minus y1. And if we solve this equation for y2, so we can say that y2 is equal to y1 plus d times alpha t1. And this equation is known as the transfer equation, which describes how the ray crosses the thick lens. So this is called the transfer equation. And notice the way it's set up is that it will tell you where it will emerge the lens on the back side, the height above or below the optical axis, in terms of the height where it enters the lens, y1, plus the thickness of the lens, the distance from one point to the other, times the angle at which is going to travel through the lens. And this is then known as the transfer equation. This is known as the refracting equation. This describes what happens across the first boundary. This describes what happens within the lens as it travels through the lens, transfers across the lens, and also realizing here that this quantity right here is considered the power of the refracting surface. So since this is labeled as D1, that describes the power, which is defined by the difference in the index of refraction divided by the radius of curvature of the front side of the lens. So now we're two-thirds there. We now know what happens at the front boundary using the refracting equation across that boundary. We now know what happens on the transition from the front boundary to the back boundary with the transfer equation. On the next video, we'll now attack what happens on the back boundary, and then we can describe as a whole what happens as the ray travels through a thick lens. And that's how it's done.